क्वेश्चन फाइव इज ये क्वेश्चन फाइव से फाइंड दी नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड विच आर ऑफ द फॉर्म फोर एन प्लस थ्री विच आर ऑफ द फॉर्म फोर एन प्लस थ्री ओके तो दैट्स द क्वेश्चन ये राइट नो वंस ऑफ ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन गाइस दिस क्वेश्चन सेज दैट यू नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ फैक्टर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू फोर एंड प्लस इज हाउ टू सॉल्व हाउ टू सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चन वी राइट ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड वी जस्ट फैक्टराइज इट राइट एंड इफ यू फैक्टराइज क्विकली फैक्टराइज इट इट्स टू फिफ्टी टू इंटू हंड्रेड ओके वट इज हंड्रेड इट इज टू स्क्वायर इंटू फाइव स्क्वायर वट इज टू फिफ्टी टू इट इज बेसिकली ट्वेंटी एट इंटू नाइन दैट इज फोर टू स्क्वायर इंटू सेवन हियर आई गेट थ्री स्क्वायर हियर टू स्क्वायर फाइव स्क्वायर इफ माइन आई गेट वॉट Two square, two square is two raised to four. Then we have three square. Then we have five square, and then we have a seven here, right? Yeah. Now, so basically, seven is two one, right? So basically, what 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 does it actually means here? It means that while solving uh, while solving such questions, I need to just keep this thing in mind. Is I have to bring the form. What if what what do you mean by form four n plus three? So basically, form of four n plus three. So form of four n plus three. Actually means that it actually means that divided by four, divided by four, okay, divided by four, remainder is one. Divided by sorry three, divided by four, remainder is three, or I can say minus one, right? So just focus on the minus one here, okay? So just let me quickly write this all the all just list out all the factors, right? Like two raised to zero, two one, two square. Two cube and two raised to four. Then you will list here also three zero, three one, three square. Then you list here also five zero, five one and five square. Then seven zero and seven one. And then you can understand that that means I am looking for all the factors four n plus three and four n plus three are is always odd number, right? So it is always odd number. So I don't need to take up or I don't need to consider this two's bracket here. Okay, actually I can just leave out this data because. It will always make this even, so I can just leave out that data. Okay, and two raised to zero is already one, so one multiplied with anything is one, so we don't need to consider the data data at all. Now you can just write the remainder, guys. Ah, uh, one by four, one by four remainder is one. Three by four remainder just because divide by four, right? So divide every term by four. Three by four remainder is minus one. Three square by four remainder is one. Five raised to zero by four remainder is one. Five by four remainder is one. Five square by four remainder is one. Seven uh, one by four remainder is one, and seven by four remainder is minus one. Now, if you see how many combinations will give you remainder of minus one here, right? So see how many combinations. They have minus one here, right? So basically, I can form combinations here. So basically, I can form the combinations here. If I if I look at these values, guys. So from one, I can actually take up these values, and I want remainder of minus one. That means, from first this from this one, I can go in three ways, right? Like one, one into one into one, right? Basically, like one into one into minus one, okay? Then one into one into minus one, and one into one into minus one. I can go in three ways, right? So with this three raised to zero, I can form three factors. Which on dividing by four will give me remainder of three or minus one. For example, if you want to calculate those factors, you can calculate like for multiplying like one into five is five and five into seven is thirty thirty five. Okay, that means thirty five is a factor which you divide by four. Remainder is three. So I get three such factors: one into five into seven, one into one into seven, and one into twenty five into seven. There are three such factors, right? Similarly, with minus one, also I can get with minus one. I can get minus. I want to get minus one, right? So basically, minus one again in three ways, right? So again in three ways, no. So for for minus one again in three ways actually. What are those three ways, guys? Those three ways got mine with minus one. I'll go to one, two, and three, and all should end at one. So basically, my three into one into one, three into five into one, three into five into five square into one. So all these factors will basically end in what? Four n plus three form. Similarly, with one, say one again also, three cases because again one one minus one one minus one, 
one one minus one and one one minus one. There are three ways, right? So three, uh, so three plus three plus three total nine way nine factors is the answer. So you can get such nine factors which are which are of tw which are factors of twenty five thousand two hundred and are of the form what four n plus three form. They are actually correct. Okay. So again, this kind of questions can be solved with this kind of funda. Okay. Let's move to next question. And also, also this combat, guys. Okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay, so their easy questions are are not asked here. So it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts. Okay, and uh, uh, this from this Sunday onwards, it is in basically revised format. So basically, we are mo moving closer to CAT right now. So in January, February, and March, we were like. Are we uh, we are around eight to ten months away from CAT, so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level, right? But this from now onwards, the questions will be of higher higher level, okay? And uh, all the LRD sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get you get get you get your live ranking, okay? Then uh, after every question. The faster you answer, the better your the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually, the, those one hour test is a fun. And actually, if you look at the cat, you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and test before cat, okay? And this is one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this. I think okay. So rank one, two, three, one year subscription. I think around twenty thousand. Or seventy five percent scholarship or fifty percent. So it's a great prizes are on offer here. Okay, so get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday. Give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.